Hello, this is Anders from Robotic Bean. Uh, we have updated sequences to version 1.1 and I'm going to show you a few things about the length lane. I'm going to start by creating a synthesizer and I'll load a patch called Glide Base. And Glide means that if I press a note and then press another, the sound glides between the two pitches. Like that and that can be useful for creating uh, acid style uh, bass lines which we're gonna do later and then I create sequences and I record a simple bass line something like that and uh, let's check out what it sounds like Now I'm going to check out the length lane and it actually consists of three different lanes, uh, the ties, the individual step lengths and the mute boxes. Uh, and we're going to start with checking out the ties. So a tie, if I click this one, you can see that the note is extended and it overlaps this note a bit. And then you get that glide thing that I showed earlier. We can actually duplicate this, like that, and try out some more glides. This note, for example. And we can also load a nicer drum sound, actually, so we can get rid of this click track. Okay, so now we can change individual step uh, note length. So if I lower this one, you see that the note length is uh, reduced as well. But if I, I can't do this for a tied note because that should always extend to the next note. Something like that. And at the bottom we have the mute boxes, so you can mute individual steps. Uh, and the detail with this is that if you, uh, for example, mute this note that stops this tie, the tie actually uh, continues up until the next note, which is the first. But I can even mute that, and the tie will continue to the next note. And then, all of a sudden, we have a new baseline. <laughs> and just finally, as a extra thing, I'm gonna use this CV1 uh, lane. And I'm gonna connect the CV1 output to the mod wheel. And the mod wheel in ES01 is set to the filter. Cool. So that's it. Uh, now I hope you know a few things about the length lane. See you later.